Indra Chaudhari. Her name is Indra Chaudhari. So the reason I stumbled over that name a little bit is because I had some Indian friends in grad school and I know exactly one word in Hindi. It is Chode. <laughs> so I was wondering if maybe the developer was doing like a sneaky joke with her name. And so I looked it up and it turns out that Chadari is a real name and it means chieftain. So getting tripped up by the name Chadari is a bit like getting tripped up by the word continue. All right, so I got my hardware in today. And so now I'm playing on the TV like this game was meant to be played. And there's no more lag, so hopefully I will be better at the combat. Okay, I did not realize that was a thing. What are you? Harmless, apparently. Little robot birds or something. So, yeah. I finally have all the equipment I need to play on my gaming desktop. I got the VGA DVI adapter and three HDMI cables for the HDMI splitter. And so, yeah. This is gonna be how it was meant to be played. Uh, also, I turned the sound way down. So in the menu, I turned the sound down to here. And then in OBS, I dropped it by nine decibels. So now it won't be super obnoxious in your ears. Listen to this. You can actually hear it without your ears bleeding. <laughs> Let's see, this looks like it might be something. Nope, I guess not. All right, robots. Time to meet your doom. Dang, took a lot of help and then it exploded and took most of my help. Come on, robot, die. Okay, now I gotta go back and heal. <laughs> Oh no, I guess that, that little explosion before took my help. Oh no, they're gonna be back, aren't they? Hmm, maybe not. I guess they're not. Never mind then. What's that down there? Oh, we gotta get it. Enter? It's a cave. Health note fragment, yeah! Now I can't break this urn. All right, there's the Metroidvania aspect. Wait, I haven't been up here, have I? I guess there's nowhere for me to go up here. What are you doing, owl? That's what you do. Oh no! I can diagonal this attack? Okay, I'm back down here. I will return. Oh yeah, what's this thing? It's like a balloon. Is it evil? Uh, yes, it is! Heretic's tablet. Written in the alien language. I think it might actually be different from the language from the first game. It just looks kind of similar. The exalted Lamassu, our lord, has given us the divine plans of the ancient kings. The blacksmiths have cast weapons of great terror powered by the strength of fire. We may have built these for use against the fearsome Udug, but have only been able to test them in our enemies in neighboring Irikar. Still, I fear it is not too long before Irgar too masters the forbidden knowledge. And then what? Will the Uduk arrive to find us at each other's throats? One wonders then, what? Yeah, but breaks off. So these people, uh, Lamasu is the leader of the heretics, I guess. And the Uduk are their enemy. And the Irikar are their lesser enemy, but their neighbors. Like, they uh, built some kind of nukes or something. Some kind of weapon of mass destruction that they're attacking each other with. I guess I gotta heal. 
I should try more to piece together lore. I'm so bad at that in these games. I'm just like, oh, here's some text. I'll read it, and then I'll just not think about it. Okay, I made it past the waterfall. Now I'm over here. Let's see what new things await us over here. A shortcut back once we get more fall. An owl up there is going to steal all my hearts. What is that? Oh, it's that. Oh, that's not an owl. Learn diagonal attack. Ha. What are you? You look like a platform. Can I stand on you? I can. Oh, I can... How did I do that? Ah. So, if you stand on, on the edge and hold down and press A, or in my case it's X because it's PS4, then she uh, goes down and hangs off. These things apparently can only get in the water. I'm not going to spend all the time to defeat it right now. I can't jump up there, darn. Alright, made it here without falling all the way down to here, because that would have been bad, right? Right? Alright, this button. See, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> if it was, I'm going to have to have to change it again. I'm over here. So I'm going to get a new ability to get through those doors soon. Maybe it'll be Morph Ball. Maybe it's right here. R2. Okay. Lucius. Allows you to infect enemies and objects to modify their behavior. Ooh. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, activate. Okay, I only have one option, it looks like. Activate. Trophy earned. Oh, you can see my trophy since I'm on here. Alright, we gotta do it again. We gotta get back up. Here we go. I bet I can hack the doors. That's how you open them. one of you guys. No! And I'm not I'm not able to do this right now. Alright, back. Okay, let's see, can I Yes I can! I can open them. And I can close them. Cool! There's a shortcut down here. Which I don't really need. I need to go over to here. Wait. Ooh. Detonate. Emit health. Volatile. Target detonates from even slight impact. Target explodes now. Emit health. Thank you. Now I'm healed. Okay. Where do I want to go? It looks like I want to, uh... So I want to get something in here. I can't do that yet. I think maybe I can I can uh, hack an enemy for it. Slow. A lot. Allegiance. I can't do it. Cost. Cost of what? It costs health. Oh, I didn't realize. There's no point to going over there. And it volatile. Okay, it didn't explode on me. Wait, what's down here? Oh, uh, just, a, just a, a way I can't go yet. Alright, back at the save. I think I'm going to go down. 
if I can, I'm gonna check out. Oh yeah, it looks like it can go down. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, it's just here. Can I, I can just swarm? They're, they're just, they're just swarming. They're not going to, to do anything. Wait, can I get that from here? No, I can't. Can I grab you from down here? Yes, I can. Oh no, I can't do it. I must need to upgrade my hacking. I must say, I'm finding this in this game interesting in that it's not doing, um, it's not having you, uh, it doesn't have a bunch of guns like the first game did. It's more strategy focused, and I like that. Because I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of the cave story style of just get a bunch of different types of guns, most of which you'll never use. There we go, now those guys are out of the way, I can do this. Cost zero, that's nice. Alrighty. Now we got another note, under siege. If you find this, it's written in English, so it means it's humans. It means I didn't make it. Warren asked me to head to Jonestown for help. The drones are all over the mountain and have put up a bunch of gates. I can't even get to the Euro camp now. Warren thinks if with some heavy explosives, we could blast a detour through the rocks. We don't have much that's combustible other than diesel, but something Malka Red makes her believe there may be munitions in the ruins under the lake. Damn. So, um, yeah, I should pay attention to these characters. I bet I can jump down through here. I don't want to yet, though. Um, I should pay attention to these characters. You're earnest. So, Augusta wanted to work here because she couldn't find any any other work. Oh wait, yeah, because the, the, the rat race was messing her up. She didn't like it. Um, news stuff. And who are these characters? Warren is a person. You, we don't know who you is. And this is Sam. Um, trying under siege by the drones. There's a camp somewhere that is being attacked by the drones, and they can't can't get any help. Oh, have I been here? I must have been. No, I guess not. The map says I haven't. Hey, another note. Terminal Breakthrough 1. Hammond, as you know, the whole purpose of the elevator is to allow us to pass safely across the breach from one world to another. But the breach itself is a kind of world, albeit one with such differing fundamental structure that it's not survivable for humans, or for that matter, digital cameras, microphones, and various other electronics we've tried to observe it with. However, it may not surprise you to learn that certain analog clocks can make the transition mostly unscathed, for the most part. They operate normally, but the rate at which they operate is different than on Earth, or King Gear, which is this world, apparently. Not only that, the rate changes. It might appear to move at quarter speed for several days, then spend a full week moving at 100 speed. Linus. So it's like Narnia. So Linus is talking to Hammond about the breach. I thought this game was about the origin of the breach. Maybe it's about how um, the breach becomes bad or something. Okay, I have been here. Um, I wonder, if I open this, does it stay open forever? I'm gonna try. Wrong button. <laughs> at, least stay, at least it stays open for one screen. Uh, 
right, let's see what's over here. This is where this place is. And what's over here? There's a flying thing right there. And if I fall, I'm gonna fall. So I'm gonna stay up here. So that I don't have to get to defeat those annoying flying robots again. I wonder if these dispense uh, energy. I think they do, I think I just got some. Oh, this is not a ceiling. <laughs> Oh, I wonder how much HP I have. Hello, big robot. Big scary robot. Big dead robot. That one I just don't have to worry about. Okay, I don't want to fall down there. Alright, that one just didn't hit me. That's nice. No! It hit me. I was trying to get HP, but it hit me. Save! Yay, cool. I go down here. It looks like it can get back up. Cool. Where is this place? Ah, it's here. I just open the door. Now, now, I am just betting that it doesn't stay open. Because then why else would that that uh, place down there, down below it, be there. So, yeah. Right. Oh! I'm back down here, I guess. Oh! Guess what I can do? Run button. But it's dead. I didn't actually want to kill it. I wanted to use it to go back up. But now I should be able to get through this door, right? Oh, one thing I can do with this, uh, with the low things, I can get through the door. Nice! Awesome! One thing I can do with those small, like, morph ball tunnel areas is I can, um, I can grab onto them. Like ledges, like this. Alright, Bush. No bush can stand against my pickaxe. As everybody knows, pickaxes are insta-kills for bushes. Oh, I bet I can... Uh, glitch this. Uh, yes, I can. It, it, it's not doing anything. Okay, you're big. Are you a boss? I'm kind of scared of you. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna come back some other time. Unglitch, please. Thank you. I oh. I almost said I didn't think it would work. Uh, the compass is pointing me this way. Can I just run past? Yes, I can. I'm gonna have to be able to defeat those one day. What are you? Do you hurt me? Yes. Dang, I'm, I'm used to playing it with the lag, I guess. So I set, I turn myself around to kill my momentum, but, like, you don't actually have momentum, it's the lag that's the momentum. Damn you! I mean, damn you. <laughs> Fire to launch a remote drone, which you may detonate at any time to return to Indra. Oh, is it true? Am I finally free? Hold on a sec, you're a kid? My name is Damu. At the end of the war, they thought, thought maybe kids would make better arms. Ooh. So you've been trapped? Trapped like this ever since? I'm so sorry. Tamu may be the youngest of the arms, but his power can still something. I didn't read that. 
This kid was trapped in a jar all this time and all you can think about is how useful he can be? No, really. Hold out your hand, I can make a ball out of it. Then throw it and see what happens. See? I was supposed to be able to turn you into giant beasts, but this is pretty good too, right? This certainly is something. Now try and go through that storm pole. No other arm can do that. Oh, neat. There's like little mini game. Oh. It's pixelated. Go here and beach. Oh, it's neat. Okay, those are enemies. This is neat, I like it. No, I, I always like, I don't know if I always like it, but in this case it's neat. It's like, it goes from SNES to NES style. Wait. Uh, what do I do now? Um, triangle is go back to Indra, R2, and glitch. Okay, I can go back here. This might be the same place, or it might be a different one. Different place. Okay, I can't glitch the, the birds. Oh. Well, I guess let's go back in, let's go in here. Is this a new place, or is it back where we were? It is a new place where we were. <laughs> Ah, oh, so that's what these platforms are. Now I'm over here. Okay, I can activate the platform. It's going down. I don't want it to go down. I want it to go up to the right. Uh, I, di I didn't want it to do that. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, that's what I did it for. Now I activate it, and it takes me up here. Yeah! What is this? Okay. I bet I can chuck it into there. No. No! No! Yes! Haha. <laughs> Made it. Cool. This is, this is similar to the place we were just in. Hey, I got something. What did I get? Oh, an apocalypse flask. Cool. Fly within the skills menu. Let us do that right now. Let's see. I can do more HP. I can do attack based stuff, increase the speed. I actually might want this, and I'm gonna be using my boomerang a lot. There's infection. I can't do this one. Can't even, just can't even get it. Um, uh, adds an initial 50 hacking points. Ooh! Increase this level to infect stronger enemies. Increase the infection radius by one meter. Oh, these can be good. Drone. Increases drone damage. Increases drone attack speed. I don't need that yet. Um, let's do this one. This is what we've needed so far. I hope I'll be able to upgrade everything all the way. I don't like it in games when they make you choose. Ooh, there's something interesting on the map. Okay, we're up here now, above that boss enemy. Right, I keep forgetting you have to press a button to take items. Health node, yeah! That bush didn't want to die. Alright, snuck past, no problem. 
shortcut. I wonder if it's permanently open. Hey, checkpoint. Yeah. What? Ooh, is this a research station? What are you? I'm, I'm going in. <laughs> it's just, I wonder if this is the research station that was in that tablet we found. A note. Hammond. Regarding the Kazakhs' demand for half a dozen submarines, we found a way to surmount the latest logistical hurdle, but you're not going to like it. So, uh, is this... The, the Kazakhs. That could be people from Kazakhstan, or it could be a faction from this world. I'm guessing this might be from Kazakhstan, from before they went through the breach. We found a way to surmount the latest... But you're not going to like it. Jansaya put me in contact with laid-off employees of a Russian military contractor who claim they can disassemble the vessels, fit the pieces into the freight elevator, and then reassemble them on the other side. Of course, we haven't revealed yet the reasons we are doing this, but we're going to have to eventually. And the cost for all this, plus their silence? Roughly 220 million altogether. Not including the cost of the subs themselves. If you're okay with this, let me know and I'll make it happen. Andre. So Andre, so they're doing it. So the Kazakhs, I'm guessing, are a faction here now. Um, and they want submarines, but they, they don't have the parts. So they're shipping it down the elevator from Earth. And so that is literally a $220 million sink. This is literally a money sink. Just taking money and resources from Earth. There's that, there's exit. We can also go up here. Hey, a person. Why don't I talk to the person before I read their private messages? That's only polite. What's up, dude? Excuse me? Ah, hello there, a newcomer. My name is Warren. I'm the site manager here. So Warren was in the other document. It was the recipient of the one about the siege, I think. How did you even get here? The mountain is crawling with robots. Let's just say I'm getting better at swinging an ice axe. Let's cut to the chase. I'm Indra Chathari. I hear you're building a portal back home. Indeed, well, <clears throat> I've encountered a slight problem. You see, the portal is based on Ansible technology developed by Dr. Hammond. There's an Ansible right over there. Unfortunately, it has to be a specific Ansible, one of the originals made back in 2007. And it was stolen by the Kazakhs. Wasn't Jones Station run by the Americans? Well, it was a private effort. The US government didn't know about the portal. However, some researchers from nearby Saigenbayou Station discovered what we were doing. In exchange for their silence, we let them through. So, do they have a portal back home? I don't know if they're even still alive. They didn't stay in contact. They built a research station somewhere south of us, if you could figure out how to get there. I wish you had just led with that. So what the hell is this place? Outside it looks almost like a tube? Good question. We think it's some form of adjacent universe, where the laws of physics differ. Clearly our chemistry and biology transfers over here, but gravity does not seem to be driven by mass. We built this telescope to find out more. It's as if we're inside a torus the size of a planetary orbit. Oh, so it's it's like it's like a, a megastructure. It's like a, a an artificially constructed world that would be like where Earth is, but all the way around the sun. So like the first, not the first step, but one of the steps along the path to building a Dyson Sphere. So neat! It's not fully solid, it's more like a lattice. We can see through some of the openings and behind them is just more lattice. We don't know what keeps it from collapsing in on itself. How did you build a portal leading here when you don't even know what here is? That was all Dr. Hammond. She always seemed to have some insight the rest of us weren't privy to. Okay. 
just saying the same thing over again. It's nice that the the advanced text is a different button than the start text. Anyone there? Outputting data throttling has resulted in input overflow. In effect, millions are trapped in detention. On this Ansible? It's old, nothing I can do about that. No, sorry, terminal running low, trying to condense info. Next in Clifftown, sector 1416. What the hell? Clifftown, sector 1416? I am surprised at how far I can jump up this. <laughs> what is this? Can't examine. Looks like some kind of... Oh, it's a telescope! Yeah, this is this is a telescope. These are all mirrors, hexa hexagonal mirrors. So in, if you want to build a telescope with mirrors, then instead of making a giant mirror to collect the light, you make a bunch of smaller mirrors. So if they get scratched or broken, you can replace the individual mirrors instead of having to replace the giant one. Also, you can change its size and shape if you need to do that. It is versatile in that way. So yeah, that's real neat. Now let's go out here. Ah! Uh, let's, 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 let's not go there. Actually, uh, let, let's, yes. Oh, no, stop. Blow up. Thank you. Can I get on top of this, I wonder? Not from here. Run. You can't stay away. I wonder if I can get on top from here. No, of course not. I guess I... I guess uh, this is as far as I can go up here. That was good, though. Story making the plot go forward. 